my sweet dreamers. So, uh, today was a full day. We went down to get my daddy's medicine prescriptions filled after we uh, called it in. They, the doctor had to uh, send some in. Please, I want you all to please pray that he passes his physical Monday at 10 a.m. He's got to have his physical done, his blood pressure, his sugar level's got to be in check before he can pass his DOT physical for his truck driving job. It's quite difficult to pass that now. His A1C's got to pass, and he's uh, got to uh, get an upgrade on his medicines as well. So, we went and got uh, the temporaries filled. They, they actually gave him the temporaries. Well, not gave him, but thankfully the debit card that is that allows up to fifteen hundred dollars, the mini card, supplied the cash to pay for that. They supply the money to pay for that. You just swipe the card, and it will pay for prescriptions. I think fifteen hundred dollars a year is all they allow um, to uh, take care of to cover. But then we got the truck tags renewed. Thank goodness. The uh, we passed the Opus inspection. The um, we passed the vehicle inspection emissions testing and all of that because the only thing that happened was the check engine service engine light was on and it went off so we went and get that got that done everything passed it was just that idiot light as we call it but it came back on and we can't get it to go off even with a uh, it, there's a fuse out in it that causes an error and you can't use the OPD2 devices to read it and so they have to they have to use a very expensive one the one that I have does not work, and uh, the one that I have does not work with it, and so we uh, got that passed, and we got the tags. We got the tags, even though that costs more money. We got the tags done. We got his medicine filled, prescriptions filled, the necessary things like that. We called the insurance company, and our insurance company will not provide any information. They said they're not allowed to help us. They said we have to call. It's been a month. And they said we have to call um, the Lebanon Police Department. We have to call the police department that's a county or two over from us that the incident happened in. So we call the police department. We get an automated service and the incident report issue. We gave the number and it said it's invalid. Then we called the uh, main office and they said, well, we'll put you over with the incident report people. And he said, no, we really need to talk to a human being. And they shut us off and put us over to the uh, automated service. I typed the number in. It says it's invalid. So now they can't find our report number. And our vehicle is, uh, we looked up the blue book value of the vehicle, and it's only about $1,500. So if the repairs cost more than that, they'll, they'll declare a total loss. And the local mechanic, he said that, that it'd probably be a total loss, but we're going to have to, next week, we're going to have to go out and go, or at least as soon as possible, go to the, uh, we're going to have to go to the uh, police department in that county where it happened, and we're going to have to request the uh, police report, and they're going to have to get my email, we're going to have to cop get a copy of it, because they're not finding it, they're not finding our report. That's not right at all. So they can't even we can't even get any, we can't even get a human being on the phone at the police department. We left a message, a voicemail. They never responded. We left our information, never responded. So now they said that we've got to contact them, go out there and see them probably. Who knows, we may have to get a lawyer to take care of this, because they're not doing their job. They're not doing their job. So, now, we've got to go out there to the police department and talk to someone in person. we got the officer's name, we have her badge number, we have all the information needed, we have the incident report number, and I've given them my email, everything. Now we got to have it worked out. They said if... They said they still haven't found anything about her. They haven't gotten back with any information. We 
you've got to file with a police report. And then that police report is sent to her insurance. If she has insurance. We don't even know if she has insurance. And it's been, let's say, it's been 18. It's been 20 days and we still have heard nothing from the police department. We've heard nothing from the incident report or her insurance at all. Now we've got to contact her insurance if she has any. If she doesn't then our insurance company has to come out and take pictures of the vehicle and assess the situation and either give us the money to put a down payment on another vehicle or whatever whatever they do. And so we're going to have to go out there and have this stuff sorted out. We might have to get a lawyer because there's nothing. We're finding nothing out about our insurance. Nothing. Or even if she has any. He said they sent a request out and was supposed to have arrived. Our insurance was supposed to get it by December 1st. It's been 18 days and they still haven't got that information. They still have not gotten the information that they need. The requested information. He said they never got back with her. With him. And he also lied to us, our insurance, our insurance agent on the phone at our company. He said if we had full coverage, though, he said he would have come out here and taken pictures himself. If their company doesn't come out here and take pictures, they'll have to do it if she doesn't have coverage. And if not, we'll have to settle everything ourselves. Pay everything out of pocket. The front end is ruined. The vehicle's wheels twisted sideways on the passenger side. You can't drive it. It's not drivable. It's just... But... We need to settle in that. That's what they told us. They said they haven't heard anything back from her or the police department. And the police department won't talk to us, so we've got to go out there. Can't get a human being on the phone, so we're going out there. Our insurance company person told us a lie. They said, oh, they take care of it, and then they'll, they turned out, no, I never said that. It's kind of a mess, so that's what's been going on with us. But the truck was messing up today, and I was like, oh, no, please the oil light so ran it a bit and went back to normal so keep us in your prayers my daddy's physical our vehicle situation and my blacking out my passing out and my ear infection dental appointment man there's a lot going on but anyway just thought i'd keep you updated in sweet dreams my sweet dreamer